Good morning, Stave Churchwood here for Little Acorns Forest Schools Limited. So today I'm having a little walk out with the dog uh, and the good lady and um, we're having a little look around to see um, as we're walking, I'm just noticing the difference is on the layers of your woodland, okay? So, so as you can see here, you've got your ground layer here along this pathway, okay? The field layer, which we've got starting to roll up the side here with this very young looking uh, hazel alder. Um, and then we've got all our dock leaves here growing. Okay, we've got our dandelions growing, field layer, our sticky weed there. Okay, pulling back, you can see there's a few more stinging nettles and stuff like that. Shrub layer we've got growing up quite nicely here with this hazel coppice on the left hand side here of the trail. Okay, and then obviously our canopy layer, if we look up, we can see where we've got these established hawthorn and stuff but um but what i find is interesting about this and uh, this hole if you look at the way that the ground is here um and we have a look at what's on the ground here if we go across this water course here if you look across onto the other side you see we've got a bit of coniferous woodland now what i find interesting about this is the marked difference between what's on, on the ground here and as you can see where you've got these coniferous trees growing okay you can see where the coniferous tree has actually killed itself off the lower branches. All those there ready to take off. We could, if we had a bit of woodland management, take that off, okay? Uh, it's not my land, so I can't do that. Um, but yeah, so looking at that, you can see there's very little on the ground. If I can just, um, if I can just, there we go. Have a look down there. Very, very little on the ground and field layer there, nothing at all. And a lot of that is jerked down due to the denseness of the, or the density of the uh, woodland. And as you can see, as it goes up, you know, there's very little sunlight getting through and that's a big marker there. So for those of you who are filling out your unit one on your forest school portfolio at the moment, the differences between coniferous woodland and, and broadleaf woodland, a quick snapshot, look at this, okay, and then we'll pull across to this and you can see there's a very much, very much difference, okay. Definitely during the winter months when the broadleaf trees lose their leaves, more sunlight hits the ground and you get more stuff growing up okay hope this helps you out all right um if it does fantastic um let me know uh, little acorns forest schools signing out for now thank you very much bye bye